Hi guys, I'm uh, sitting here with my next project. Obviously, it's a uh, Raspberry Three project, Raspberry Pi project. I'll be putting it in this N64. Obviously, not like that. So I've got uh, the Raspberry Pi Three Model B, a small case for it, just temporarily so I can play with it outside of the 64. Got a less D card for the operating system. It'll get RetroPie. A little card reader here so I can uh, put the operating system on the SD card. This is for loading games later. Obviously the N64. Got a controller for it and a new joystick because this joystick is absolute trash. Um, the cheapest game I could find just for show this is an adapter for the N64 controller. It's got a little USB port on the end and uh, some tools to take apart the N64 and the controller. Uh, these are called GameBit security drivers or something like that. It's a 4.5 millimeter and a 3.8 millimeter. The N64 itself takes the 4.5, the controller takes the 3.8. So the steps that I laid out for this project are as follows. Uh, we're going to download RetroPie and install it to this micro SD card. And then we're going to set up the Pi and do some overclocking, testing, and stuff just to find the most stable overclock we can. Um, we're going to set up the controller within the uh, within RetroPie emulation station so that we can actually play the game. Um, we're going to use the USB stick to apply games to the RetroPie and then we're going to play obviously because then we got to test it and make sure everything works and then from there we'll disassemble the N64 and controller because we're going to then paint them both put the new joystick in uh, figure out where we're going to place everything in here and then uh, attach everything and put it together and play some games have fun be done with it so, um, so the first step, download uh, RetroPie and install it on the micro SD card. All right, so step one was to download and install <clears throat> RetroPie to our little mini SD card. So I'm going to place this in the card reader, or like so. Put it in my computer. You start out by making sure that that is empty, and it is not. So let's go to disks. We're going to go into accessories, disks. Um, it is a flash drive. And well, it's already got RetroPie on it, but I'm just going to start over fresh just for this. So we're going to delete everything that's on the disk. Boom. And then we're going to go to our terminal, control alt T. Oh, well, first we have to download RetroPie, don't we? <laughs> so we'll go to Firefox, type in RetroPie, go to the download link. Now, there's a separate one for the Pi 0 and 1 as you know, Pi 2 and 3, so make sure you download the right one. Mine is a Pi 3, so I'm going to go with this. And then it gives the option to save the file. I've already done so, so I'm not going to save it again because I am on a, a satellite internet and it's terrible. So, this is where I've got mine. Media, generative storage stuff, torrents, retro, Pi, whatever. So I'm going to go back to our terminal cd media general dave storage stuff torrents cd retro pi and you put the escape character to have a space in here retro pi 3.8 and then uh, I like to type ls. It shows you all of what's in the, the folder there. 
And uh, the G dot GZ is what we downloaded. See right here, dot GZ. The uh, IMG is what we extracted from here. So what we wanted is the uh, IMG. So we're gonna use Ubuntu's disk imager, DDIF equals retro pi v 3.8.1 hyphen r pi 2 underscore r pi 3 dot img if for input file output file equals and we have to figure out what drive that was it would have told us in disks so if we go back to disks it is sde So we go slash dev slash sde. Permission denied, so we have to have sudo, obviously. I like Linux, it asks you for a password and doesn't even show you what you're typing. So that should be writing to the SD card, hopefully. Oh, it looks like it finally finished. So it should have uh, popped up here with the disk, but well, oh, okay, if I click on them, it will. All right, so that completes the install on the SD cards. So the next step is to actually set up the Raspberry Pi itself and test things out there and see how it goes. All right, that's going to do it for today, guys. Thanks for uh, joining me. Like and subscribe if you did like it. If not, don't. And uh, we'll see you in future videos.